I'm trying not to use that. Well, it's the same way in like campers. People always, you know, you gotta do something. May I climb board? Yeah. Yeah, go board. Yeah, it's a little tippy, so be <laughs> Okay. Yeah. It's a lot better than the kayaks that I'm used to. What's like the worst weather? Uh, honestly, it's the cold, I think. Well, I mean, like, what about, like, awesome. rain, any snow or anything? No, we got lucky with the rain and snow. If it was ever really windy, we'd put it in at a marina, because it would be pretty unsafe out in this. Yeah, I love it, though. It doesn't feel cluttered. I mean, the fact that there's two folks living on this is, um... Oh, yeah, just it, Well, no, I'm serious. I mean, uh, there's room to walk, uh, and, you okay, know, the... Real coming this, out now. Nah. <laughs> We got, you got a horn, that's good, that's important. Yeah, we got all the all the equipment. Got stopped once and, uh, and we had everything, so that was good. Yeah, just <laughs> once on in the thousand miles. And it was in Florida too. <laughs> so that's the uh, the ghost stick right there that makes yep. it go forward and back. Yeah, yeah it doesn't control uh, the uh, the throttle, which is on the, uh, oh, yeah, on, the yeah, yeah. on the stick itself. So it's a little bit awkward, but once you get used to it, it's okay. So underneath this cover here is where the motor lies? Yeah, this is where the motor lies. It's got the canoe on it right now, but uh, otherwise I'd show you that. Um, that's, that's fine. Yeah, you can get yeah, down there. That's probably pretty useful. Yeah, I see it. That's pretty cool. A little bit of water in the bilge, but I guess that's a normal thing. Yeah, right? it's uh, it's kind of a design flaw because the uh, uh, where it spits out the the water for the coolant on the engine. If I turn it this way, it'll kind of be dripping uh, into yeah, the boat. Yeah. So if we like are moving slow or we're docking and I'm moving this a lot, yep. it'll collect eventually. How about uh, I see you got one battery there. Is there one battery? Yeah, there's another one that I keep up there just to keep the front down when we're moving because for it, ballast, it has, huh? Yeah, it has a tendency to move up because the because it's a flat bottom and the rear is pretty uh, pretty narrow. Anchor light? Uh, yep, anchor light. Place to uh, put a flag up? Is that a fire flag you got? Yeah, it's a fire flag. I have it tied up right now to <laughs> get it out of the way of the light. But yeah, I like to fly that sometimes. That's awesome. <laughs> what, do they, what do they call the back of the boat? That's where you keep stuff. Uh, uh there's the like stern? A no, no. no. Hey, the stern is correct, that's right. But there's like a, the sailboat is called a place where they keep stuff. And I can't remember it. So. I'm, I, I get things wrong all the time. I call lines ropes and I, people chastise me about that. Oh yeah, I, I have no memory. There's no rope on the phone. <laughs> I know this is port and that's starboard. Yeah. <laughs> Bow, stern. I love that your canoe is almost as big as the boat itself. Yeah, we I, we actually got this for like $5 in New Smyrna Beach. Uh, the <laughs> marina like had it washed up on the shore and they were like, we need to get rid of it. And, and it I floats. needed a dinghy, so yeah. Yeah, it works. Life. It's a little a little hard getting through the locks with this, but it's uh life provides a way. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> when you're underway, where do you usually sit? On the cooler uh, or on this or I pull like some cushions out of there and I'll move this to the floor and just sit there just so I can have my uh line my of line of sight over yeah. the tent so we don't have to take it down. Uh, at the beginning of the trip we actually took all of this down and we would spend an hour like rearranging stuff to get ready. But after a couple weeks of that we we got a little more streamlined. Just leave this up. Yeah. One of us is like inside hanging out. How about napping. saying, can you nap on the yacht? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we take turns napping and stuff while one of us is driving, uh, especially in the canals like this where it's so uh, it's so calm. Like, yeah. What about what you uh, I have a little Garmin, just the, the smallest GPS, um, and then I use my phone for Google Maps and Waterway. Uh, yeah, Navionics. No, I use Waterway. It's okay. pretty much it's another website that does pretty much the same thing. It shows me all the anchorages, all the, the depth charts. Uh, yeah. Neat. The boat's name is Cod, right? Because that's what this boat was meant for. It was meant for fishing for cod. Huh? Yeah, they would uh, they would stack them in schooners and take them out off of Newfoundland uh, or Newfoundland wow. area, and they would fish for cod. Is that where this boat was manufactured? Uh, this was manufactured in. Uh, Canada, Nova, Nova Scotia, yeah. Londonburg, I think. Uh, by the the Dory shop, I think they might have they might have built this. <laughs> yeah, there's a little plate on that. You can't see it with the canoe, but there's a little rusted plate that says uh, like the what <laughs> number it is or something. Nice. And uh, Londonburg. It's a good vessel, man. Godspeed, you guys. Thanks. Uh, they don't have a YouTube channel, unfortunately. But, not yet. Uh, not yet. But uh, maybe we'll keep in touch and. When they start documenting, I'll be watching. Well, that marina was really awesome. Actually, it wasn't even a marina, it was a uh, city dock. I'll tell you, one of the hard things is 
when you're traveling, you're constantly meeting new people. And quite often you're going to meet really interesting people. And then you have to say goodbye to them. And as soon as you get comfortable in a spot, you pick up and you leave again. That's something I'm going to have to get used to. Just uh, tying, untying the lines and just moving on. And speaking of which, we did spend one night at that place and it was lovely. We are now back underway. I am without a seat. Mm -hmm. And um, we didn't have to travel too far. Right over here, off to the right, there's a marina. We're going to see if we can put the boats here tonight. Mike is going to leave good times there for probably a week. I'm going to move on tomorrow, probably by myself. And I'm going to go to Glade's Boatyard and uh, we're going to haul this thing out for the motor swap. Very interesting. But that's tomorrow. For right now, we'll see if they have empty slips and if we can uh, dock this beast again. What do you say, Cap? The wind will bring you up. Just stop its forward motion and the wind will bring you right to the dock. I got the bass radar behind me. Yep. It might stick out a little bit, but... All right. Throw you a line. Yep. <laughs> See if I can get you a stern line. She looked right at me. She was like, nah, I'll just keep doing what I'm doing. Like, come here. Come over here. Come on. Get on that boat. Come on. Oh, she's so bad. Come here. Hey. Let's go. Huh? Get your butt up there. I will bust you in the nose. <laughs> right. So this is it. Where are we at? This is it. <laughs> this is the LaBelle Marina. I thought you were going to say we, we were finally around the bend. <laughs> no. Not yet, right? Nope. Got a few more bends left. Okay. We've been here before. I do. I don't remember. We've got, um, I got video. videos. Yeah. Probably. Of these and yep. this water yep. right here. This is a very. Uh, I got video of that water spout. Very laid back kind of place. You just come in here and tie up, and, which is true at a lot of marinas. You can tie up and then pay in the morning. Yeah. Hopefully nobody else is coming for fuel tonight. Well, no, they're closed, so. Oh, don't have okay. To worry about that. That's cool. Yep. Sweet. So yeah, Marty moves mine in the morning, moves good time or whatever. Maybe she'll just give me that slip right there, and then. All you gotta do is drift it. Over. I'm gonna untie it, put it in gear, and walk away. <laughs> It'll be in the tree somewhere. Sure. I mean, you know. Um, I don't know what happened. <laughs> I was thinking about that when I went to move the kayak. I said, "What if I fell over?" I'm. This is going through my mind, moving. I'm like, "Good time, just keep on going, just she runs a bank somewhere." <laughs> but yeah, La Belle, out in the middle of nowhere, marina. Yep. Nice and quiet. It is I don't nice. Have to worry about too much. Out here. Beautiful. Yes, Just some bass fishermen. It seems bigger. It seems like they've had it. Oh, don't worry. Those 